Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina. If you are new here, I post lifestyle and teaching vlogs with just a sprinkle of sit down videos when I can. Today, I thought I would bring you some of my fitness favorites. I know we're going into the new year right now and a lot of people are setting some fitness goals and lifestyle goals. So I thought it would be a great idea to just show you some of the things that I've been loving most recently and over the year. So if you are interested in seeing some of my fitness favorites, go ahead and just keep watching. All right, so the most annoying thing here, I sat down to film this video already, okay? I filmed this video already, but it wasn't as bright. And now it was like raining this morning, so the sun just was not up. And now she's coming up, she's going behind clouds, she's doing her thing, which is fine, but like, baby, consistency. <sighs> I am... Um, so happy it's the first day of winter break i got to sleep in a little bit so before i head to the gym i thought i would just go through some of my fitness favorites things that i'm loving for fitness and exercise and health and wellness let's get into it first things first here airpods now headphones of course if you've been here for a while, you've seen me with these bad boys. These are my Beats. Love them. Just recently replaced the cushion, the like earpiece thing, um, because it was coming off from a video I saw on TikTok. So, very cool. I decided to finally join the train, jump on the wagon, however. And here I am. And the fact that I'm wearing it as this video is starting should be enough for you to know that I'm loving it. These are just the regular ones. There's no pro, there's no max. There's none of that for me, you know? Um, these are just whatever the classic ones. I literally just got the cheapest ones. They were like $100, so. Love these, very good for the gym. I don't think that they cancel noise out as good as these ones do, but something that I really enjoy is that when I take one of them out, my music pauses. So if I have to talk to somebody, um, I can do that as opposed to just pulling one ear to the side and then my music's still playing and I'm like trying to like press the button, you know. I just like these more for functionality, for me at least. My second favorite that I wanted to talk about is this booty band. Now, obviously, unless you live under a rock, and maybe I guess if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, you know that I am a Gymshark stan, okay? Live, love, laugh Gymshark. This is a Gymshark resistance band. This is a medium band. I use this for all of my leg day glute activations. No complaints here, I've had this for over a year and it is just as sturdy as when I got it. I believe they have a pack now on the website where you can get the light, medium, and heavy resistance band. It's like a little gift set type thing for the holidays. So yes, this is the Gymshark resistance band in medium. Next here, of course you already knew that it wasn't going to be a Karina type fitness video without some sort of mention of the Alani New pre-workout. This is in the flavor of Mimosa. I have tried the Carnival Grape. I've tried the Rainbow Skittles. Oh, it's not Skittles. Rainbow Candy that tastes like Skittles. I tried Arctic White. Recently I tried Breezeberry and I hated it. So it's a no for me. Um, I haven't tried the Peach Rings just because I'm not a Peach Rings gal per se. Um, what else? What other flavors are there? I'm probably missing a major, a major flavor, but I can't think of it right now. Anyways, those are the ones that I've tried. I've had Mimosa before in college and I love this. So when I returned the Breezeberry and was like, yeah, this is not for me. I absolutely knew that I was going to get Mimosa. So I usually take the Alani New pre-workout before a lift. Um, sometimes if I have it or if I have the time to do it, um, to stop at G GNC and get it, I will grab one of the Alani New pre-workout energy drinks um, as opposed to just taking a scoop because when I take this, I dry scoop and you know, dry scooping gets a little era, you know? So I think today before my workout, I'm actually going to stop in GNC and see if they have a watermelon wave pre-workout drink because I love those energy drinks. I tried watermelon wave last week and dog, hear me out. Um, if you like their energy drinks, I feel like Tropical tastes exactly like a mimosa one. So 
No tea, no shade, but it tastes the same. All right, and next thing that I am loving, you've seen this before, this is my barbell pad. Now, I got this in college because they didn't have a barbell pad in the gym. That's why it's red. I got this off of Amazon. Um, I think it was like 10 bucks. Um, and I feel like this is better now more than ever because if your gyms are open and you are going to the gym right now, at least you have your own personal equipment. And I would say the exact same thing for the booty band. Like just get your own stuff. Just bring your own stuff with you. I am going to the gym during this time. I am staying very, very far away from other people. I like to do my own thing um, as I always have done even before a pandemic. So I feel like I need to get one of these in black something that just matches my energy a little bit more. Um, but getting your own barbell pad, I 10 out of 10 recommend. Another thing, this is newer to me. This is a hydro jug. Um, around Black Friday, I've been seeing a lot of people post about it. So I had decided that I was going to place an order. I used a Jazzy's code and I ended up getting actually some really good deals. I think I got this jug for $13 and I got maybe the sleeve for 15, either that or flip flops because they were on Black Friday sale. Um, so I just got a white hydro jug and let me see if I can peel this down, the sleeve down so you can see the front. So this is a the white hydro jug. They do have a clear one. This is the white one though. And then I have the black leopard sleeve. This was limited edition. I've been checking the website every couple of days and to see like some restocks on things and this has been sold out still so i'm not sure if this is going to restock or not but um yes this is what i have and then i just have my little gym key on the side of it for my gym locker and honestly you guys it claims that it will make you drink more water and i feel like i literally have been drinking more water like theatrics aside i don't know it just makes me want to drink more water. I don't know why. First time I filmed this, lighting, yes, that was an issue. But also, I cannot believe that I forgot to talk about my Apple Watch, you guys. I have been tracking my workouts on my Apple Watch for, um, I believe, maybe a year or two. No, I was still in college. Two years. Two years I've been tracking my workouts on my Apple Watch. And honestly, it's really what gets me going. There was a little bit um, this year where I just was not working out, mostly in the beginning of the year. Some people got abs during quarantine and I gained 30 pounds and that is what it is. Um, so I didn't really use my Apple Watch much, but as soon as I started getting back into the groove of fitness, I decided it was time to dust this bad boy off, got a new band, and it's been a love story ever since. Next up, you guys already know, <clears throat> My Gymshark barrel bag, fan fave. I'm gonna be honest with you for a second. If you are not willing to take criticism, then it's time for you to go. But I know that you know that I'm a Gymshark stan because I say it in literally every single aspect of any video. But here's what I'm not happy about. This Gymshark logo, I know you can see like the little remnants here, um, was, a decal or something on there and it's been peeling off recently so that's really getting on my nerves enough to make me want to order a new bag probably still Gymshark but also let's not waste people's money here okay I've had this for a couple of years I only use it to go to the gym I don't use it for anything else so for the fact the fact that this is like peeling off is like kind of era I'm not happy and then the last thing that I wanted to talk about, I'm actually wearing right now. Um, so I am going to just put a clip of me putting it um, on above me talking about this right now. But this is the Sweet Sweat and it is not a waist trainer. Of course, a train right now. It's not a waist trainer, it's a sweatband. So this is what it looks like. It's long, it's pink. I believe I got it in a size large and when I first got it, it was strapping to right here and now it's strapping to back here, which makes me think that I need to probably go down to a medium. Um, but yeah, I really love it. It has really helped me sweat a lot in the gym. I love to sweat, so 
burning those extra calories has been super, super beneficial. So those are my fitness favorites. I am wearing my Take Care of Yourself Whitney Simmons merch on the back. It just says it's a beautiful day to be alive. And then I am wearing the Whitney Simmons volume two ribbed leggings from Gymshark. I have it on my list to do a current Gymshark favorites video. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to leave that in the comments below. I do have a Curvy Girls Guide to Gymshark video that I put out last year um, because I feel like a lot of Gymshark videos that I watch at least have women that do not have similar body types to me, which is not very helpful at all. So I like to put a lot of Gymshark reviews randomly in there from a pers the perspective of somebody who's not getting paid as well as the perspective of somebody who has a different body type than the people that they normally put out there. All right guys, so that is all for today's video. Like I said, comment below if you wanna see any of those Gymshark favorites from a curvy girl um, or if you just have any recommendations of other fitness things that I should try. Subscribe if you are not already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Let it snow.